If your bicycle's hydraulic brakes are feeling spongy and you're having a hard time to stop, it's time to bleed your brakes. So Shimano recommends to use their Shimano mineral oil and bleeding kit. Any hydraulic mineral oil will do. Now the question is mineral oil or dot oil? This bicycle is equipped with Shimano braking system and they recommend mineral oil. Basically, dot oil can also be used, however, dot oil is more corrosive. Depends on your usage. If you are braking a lot like an extreme mountain biker or downhiller, then probably a dot oil with higher boiling point is more suitable. Tools that are required is this Allen key set and this brake bleeding kit, which can be bought online for just $2 US. First of all, locate the brake fluid filling hole. So in the Shimano bikes, usually it's just one of these screw on top. And then we will level up the brake lever so that it is parallel to the ground. And this is important so that when we fill it up later on, it will not drip off. After removing the screw, we'll see a tiny hole that will be filling up the fluid to the reservoir. Now for the bleeding kit, usually it will come with a cup like this and a plunger to stop the fluid from going in. We will plunge the plunger in first and then you will have these adapters. So we need to compare to see which adapter fits in this Shimano brake. So it's the small one. Just screw it in tight. There will be a O-ring that will stop the fluid from dripping and an O-ring over here as well. So just put the cup on top and we are ready on this part. So for the mineral oil that we will be using, this is a third party one, but it works as well. So we're just filling it up. You can fill it up to half a cup. Uh, this part is not really important to fill it up a lot because we will be filling from the bottom brake caliper nipple itself. After removing the protective cap, we can assemble the syringe, which is part of the bleeding kit. So it came with this metal thing, it won't fit. So we'll just attach the hose directly onto the nipple and this metal, I can remove it and install it directly into the syringe. So now using the syringe, I can pump up the mineral oil. Well, you can pump up as much as 5 to 10 milliliters because it depends on how much you want to bleed it. Try to minimize bubbles in the syringe and also the hose and push the other end of the hose onto the brake caliper nipple. And with that, we can now loosen the caliper nipple itself so that the fluid can flow in. And if there's any bubbles present over here, just hold the syringe and the hose upright and the bubbles will flow upwards. And with that, loosen it a little bit more, release the plunger on the reservoir cup, and now we can start to pump in the fluid from the syringe so that all the fluid is actually being pushed from the caliper upwards onto our brake reservoir. Gently push down on the syringe and be mindful of the bubbles. If you see any bubbles going down the hose, just stop before the bubble go inside the caliper. And over here in the reservoir, you can see that bubbles are bubbling up and then some different colored fluids is coming out from the brake caliper or the brake reservoir itself. It is okay as long as both of them are the same mineral oil, it can be mixed. Now press on the brake lever to pump in oil from the reservoir and repeat this process by also pumping in from the bottom. Repeat this process a few times until there's no more bubbles and then we can tighten the brake caliper nipples and using a cloth just in case some leaked out, okay, take off the hose and put in the rubber protector back. Make sure that this part is very tight. If not, when you press on the brake, it might bleed out. On the top part, when it's done, just put in the plunger and now we can remove the reservoir cup. So after we remove it, be very careful because there will be some mineral oil on the brake itself. Yeah, we needed it to be like this so that when we attach back the screw, we make sure that we carefully remove any of the bubbles and wet the screw before we tighten it. This part is crucial because we don't want to have any bubbles trapped inside. At the same time, make sure that it is tight so that it will not leak when you pump on the brake lever. So this part is already done. We can wipe it down. And of course, this is not a dot three oil, so it's not that corrosive that will eat up your pin. So let's do the other side of the brake. It is good to do brake bleeding every few months and it's best not to mix the different types of mineral oil. And if you want to flush it out, so basically we just pump in around 40 to 50 milliliters, it should be enough to flush out the, all the oil from the calipers up to the reservoir. And now with it done, 
just remember to reposition back the brake levers to a comfortable position. Remember to tighten the screws for the brake lever but we do not want to over tighten it as well. For the balanced mineral oil on the cup, we can actually just pour it back into the cup by just removing the plunger and it will drip it back into the cup or we just pour it from the cup directly into the bottle. There's many arguments whether we can keep mineral oil. As long as they are not dirty or mixed with water, mineral oil can be kept for a very long time. Let's check the brakes again. It is working perfectly and in time for us to go cycling in Sepang International Circuit, the former F1 circuit in Malaysia. Hope this video helps. Check out our other Fixed Hack DIY videos in our channel. Thank you.